Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Swords Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through the 31st. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading could also be for the Cross Watcher, okay? So what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? January 25th through the 31st. Emperor. So the emperor is about control. It's about stability and structure and organization. It's a protective energy. So we have a very protective energy here. Taking charge. Uh, wanting to protect. Somebody wants to protect and they are ready to fight. So this is battle ready. So we have somebody here that is ready to fight for whatever it is that they believe in. Um... Yeah, so I feel like we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready. They're ready. That's what I, well, I got to say. We got somebody here that is ready to fight. Ready to do whatever it takes. So we have a fighter here. Um, now this could be a father figure or somebody that is in a position of authority. This is somebody who makes a decision, a decision maker. Somebody has made a decision and they are ready to fight for it. So... What do we have for Leo? Well, I guess we'll take those. Battle. Or <laughs> not battle. This is the battle. Beetle. Good fortune. Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. And that is exactly what we have here. We have some, because you know, I already did one Leo reading, but I decided to do it over. And we, it, but it was the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords was going to fight for her her family. Um, so, and this is this nest is about a family. So we do have somebody here that is in a position of authority. This is somebody that is very powerful, that is ready to fight and do whatever it takes to protect their kin. Okay, their blood. All right, so I, you know, it, whatever it is, it is. We have a protector here that is, you know, wanting to have a secure, loving family where there's peace, you know, with, where there's peace. So we have somebody here that is going to be protecting their, their family this week. And there, it looks like luck is on their side. So there is luck. Oh, this one just fell out. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups is all about love, emotionally. It is emotionally secure. And then we have emotionally secure here. So a, a loving, emotionally secure home is what is most important here. It's all about love and security. So we have somebody here that is doing what they feel. Because the Queen of Cups is all about feelings. They're doing what they feel is best for the security of whoever it is that they're trying to protect. Um, Queen of Cups is, is very loving, gentle, caring, tender. Um, this person is acting on their feelings. This is the end of a battle. It is the end of a battle. We, it is. The Five of Swords. This is this is the end of the fight. This person's ready to fight, but this is the end of a battle. And if there should be a battle, it will be war. Because the Five of Swords in reverse could be war. But this could also be, you know, um, peace talks, right? It could be peace talks, especially next to the Queen of Cups. So this could be uh, somebody just walking away. They want peace. Because whoever they're up against is a fighter. We do have a fighter here. This is somebody that will do whatever it takes to protect. What is this Five of Swords? Fresh start, starting with a clean slate. We have somebody here that is definitely taking action. They are very passionate about walking away. Somebody is walking away. That's what their heart and their gut is telling them to do. Somebody's intuition is telling them that they should walk away from, I don't know, maybe it's somebody that, that they've been fighting with. 
because this is the end of a battle and this is a fighter. So somebody is saying that they should, they feel like their gut and their intuition is saying to do this peacefully. This is a, this is a peaceful, you know, I don't know. It's a peaceful new beginning by the looks of things. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. This is an exciting opportunity to start with a clean slate. This is a new vision. So somebody has this new vision. They have this new desire to not fight after they've been, they, they're up against somebody who will fight. So this is like, you know what? I got this vision and I don't want to fight. I want peace. I want love. I want harmony. So, hmm. Hangman. Now the hangman is very stubborn struggling somebody is struggling to let go of their ego that's in the past though somebody was struggling they were holding on to some old thought i got a sneeze coming <coughs> excuse me so somebody was holding on they were holding on they were sacrificing wasting time needing to let go of their ego needing to let go of their pride so we have somebody here that was very, very stubborn, but now their their intuition and their heart is telling them that they need to stop fighting and maybe they, maybe they need to go after something, which is interesting. There's some sort of opposition here. They got this new vision. We have somebody here that has a new vision. They got, and it's like a sudden desire to fight for something, and it's, and it, but it's interesting. It's a different kind of fight. You know, they've been fighting or they've let their ego get in the way of happiness. And now they, they've got some sort of new emotional uh, desire to go after something, which is interesting. Somebody may be wanting peace. You know, they may be wanting peace. There could be an apology here. And I don't say that very often. I feel like there could be. Um, the hangman is somebody that is very stubborn, very stuck in their ways, that is unwilling to budge, that is trying to prove a point. That is in the past. Now we have somebody that is taking charge. And it looks like they're looking at somebody that they love. You know, this is a masculine, this is a feminine. feminine. So I think we have a masculine that is about ready to take action towards a feminine. Maybe they've been fighting their emotions or they've been fighting themselves or something like that. But now they've got this sudden desire to take action. You know, they do. So I do think action is about to be taken in, in a very big way towards, you know, following the heart. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Now that's insecurities. Must take action right now. Somebody needs to take action right now because somebody's walking away. That's what we got with the Five of Swords. Somebody may have already walked away. They may have already walked away. Now they have to take action. You know, they've been very, very stubborn by the looks of things, but now, now it's time. Now it's time to take action. They must find the discipline. Somebody is trying to find the discipline to, you know, do something to do what to follow their heart yes they're very very interested whereas they missed an opportunity in the past somebody missed an opportunity or they didn't want an opportunity or they just were wallowing over the past or they were just struggling somebody was really struggling they may have been struggling with their independence you know maybe they were struggling with giving up their independence or something like that or becoming independent it's something about independence or they were just struggling with their, their self-worth even, maybe even their self-value. But now it's like now they're interested in an opportunity that they weren't interested in before. I feel like there could be somebody that is coming back around. They're coming back around and I feel like they got a change of heart, which is interesting. Anyhow, I also see a new interest here for some of you. The the Four of Cups is in reverse. It's, it's like you, you, you may have missed an opportunity in the past or you didn't want an opportunity, but now it's here and you're interested in it. There's like a new interest, whether it's with somebody you know or somebody new, there is a new interest here. And it's like very, very interested, seeing very clearly. You know, there's a passionate desire. This is an exciting opportunity to start over or to start from scratch. So somebody may be 
making an offer, a loving offer. You know, you may be receiving a loving offer from somebody that betrayed you or hurt you or abandoned you in the past. Or they misled you or they weren't interested or you weren't interested in them or something like that. And now there's an opportunity to start over. I mean, in a... A lot of people don't want that, and if that's the case, you know, this could be somebody new. I mean, both of these cards could signify somebody new. We could have somebody here that wasn't looking to, you know, get in a commitment. They're single, and they're not going to be single anymore. There could also be somebody here that is going to become single. Okay, they could be becoming single because they have a new love interest. There's a new love interest here, and I feel like there's a lot of passion to be had. You know, um, and this is a sudden, a sudden situation where it happens very suddenly, um, a sudden interest of some sort. Um, hmm. Ooh, this is an emperor, somebody that is going to take, we have the emperor twice. It could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Taurus. Whoever this person is, they are very business-like. They may be a business owner. This is somebody that is older, typically, or somebody that has a lot of life experience. This person is stable. They are secure. They are structured. They are organized. This person is not uh, poor, okay? This person is not poor. They have worked. They've worked. This person is a worker. This person... Um, can take very, very, very good care of you. If you are the masculine watching this, this is you taking action. This is you, okay? This is you taking action towards uh, a beautiful, loving, kind individual who has a huge heart. If you are the feminine watching this, you definitely have a masculine here who sees your huge heart and is that is a very attracted to that heart. So if you are single, you probably will not be single for much longer. Or you may be getting into a commitment where the commitment is stepping it up to the next level. If you are married, you may, and things have been, things have been a struggle. There's been fighting. I think things are going to get better. I think the passion is going to get reignited. I do feel like there is definitely a very positive uh, turn of events here. Put it that way. Somebody may have thought about walking away or they walked away. They may be coming back. If that's not the case, it could absolutely be somebody brand new that is ready to protect. This is a protector. This is somebody who takes the lead. This is a leader. Um, it feels like this person may you know, be a manager or a business owner or whoever this person is. They are highly respected. Um, this is not somebody that uh, is a low life, put it that way. This is not a low life. This is somebody that is uh, very capable, very, very capable and has this passionate desire to uh, go after something. That they, that they may have ignored previously. They may have just not listened to their gut or they were still hurting over a previous betrayal. You know, they were focusing on the past hurts or something or they weren't healed or something like that, but now they're ready. So anyway, good luck, Leo.